Hello fragrance community, this is Bat from Zoologist. The, co uh, the founder of the company is Victor Wong. The perfumer behind this one is Ellen Covey. Your top notes are gonna be banana, fruity notes, soil. Uh, middle notes are gonna be fig, tropical fruits, myrrh, resins, and green notes. Base notes are musk, leather, vetiver, sandalwood, and tonka bean. Getting into the presentation, uh, beautiful box. This is really well done, um, made really well too. Uh, it's a very hard um, you know, material, which is nice. It has the excellent foam, which is very, very hard. So when, I mean, the bottle is in there, it literally stays right in there. There's no you know, slipping out or anything and it fits real snug in here as well. You can barely push it in there. So very nice, um, you know, hard, good quality box. Has your information on the back. Uh, bottle, excellent. You have very nice, um, just the shape of it, how it sits on the shelf is just excellent. Has that little tilt to it. Um, excellent juice, by the way. The cap is very nice, has that leather wrap to it. So presentation is bar none excellent. Uh, sprayer, nice spray. It's really all you, um, you know, nice, um, it's a spread, you know, it's real nice. It doesn't shoot up straight. It's kind of like a nice spread to it. So excellent, um, you know, just very well designed uh, bottle. Took a lot of time in there and, and it's just absolutely uh, stunning. So excellent presentation and uh, on to the review. Hey, Fragrance community, Rise Frags 34 here. Uh, bringing another review to you guys. Thank you so much again for tuning in. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, this is Bat from Zoologist. Like I was talking about in the presentation, uh, Victor Wong uh, created this, this great line. Um, it's a very unusual line, which is really cool because that's what perfumery kind of is all about, you know, with, um, with the artsiness to it, you know, it's, um, you know, it's just the creations is, is amazing. And this one, Bat, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's stunning. So getting into it, you know, right away, um, as soon as you first spray it, I mean, it is literally dirt, you know, it's, it's just soil. Uh, wet, you know, kind of sweet soil, which sounds weird, but it, it, it's absolutely beautiful uh, because what happens is all this other, all the resins and um, everything kind of comes into play. Um, it's You get this fruity opening as well, a little bit, but it's it's really, I mean, truthfully, if you, um, I want to try and explain it in not a bad way, but if you go down and like to like a basement where it's very kind of cold, damp, um, and there's like pots everywhere like you know when you put like pots in for the winter time with no plants in them but just soil you kind of get that you know you kind of get some um, maybe there's some wood around you know like like a wood bench or something like that um, so you're getting some of that woodiness in there and I think a lot of that has to do with like some of the myrrh that, that's in this um, there's some myrrh and some um, you know you get resins too but um, it's just amazing the, the blend with this because you do have that fruitiness to it as well you get the banana and the fruits and I think also the myrrh throws in that, it's not like a black licorice, but it kind of has that, kind of like that sweet candy kind of vibe. Uh, I do get a lot of fig with this. I don't know about you guys, but if you really smell closely, there's some fig, some really fig that pops out in there. And that of course, you know, comes with the fruit and the banana. But from the beginning to the end, uh, this, this lasts a good eight plus hours on my skin. It does get a little bit close after three to four hours, but it, when, you, when you get close to it and smell it, it's very, it's prominent, it's there. Um, so I'm, I'm trying not to be all over the place with this one, but it's just amazing the, the transition it, it goes through. You get that real deep soil beginning, um, and that lasts for a good while, and you still kind of get it throughout. But a lot of the banana and the fruitiness, um, that myrrh, resins, um, kind of come in. You do have a leather dry down. It kind of calms down, smooths out to like this nice leather vetiver. Um, I didn't really see patchouli in there, but uh, you know when you have that soil, you know, kind of earthiness to it, but there's some of those real nice resins too, so you almost get like that little bit of hints of smoke too. I mean, this is a very complex fragrance, but what's so nice about it is you do see the, like I said, from beginning to end, you just have this beautiful transition. And one cool thing is, you know, you're thinking, uh, you know, versatility on this. It's probably not too versatile with, you know, summer, things like that. I think it's 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 really meant, it's, it's kind of deep and strong enough for, for the winter and fall and maybe some cool nights. But what's nice is you also have, um, it's it's it smells really good, you know. So when you're wearing it at work or whatever, you know, you want to wear it at, like a night out or whatever. It actually has a good, 
a good smell to it too. You know, you're gonna, you might even get some compliments on it because of the, you know, it smells pretty good. So, um, you know, sorry, I'm just excited about this one. This is, uh, this is crazy because it's, you always want like something that's, you know, it's, it's an art to, to create these. And, um, you know, Ellen Covey, she did just an awesome job with this one because it, it really is, you think of like being in this, you know, dark kind of cave, you know, it's cold, you kind of get like the minerals, you know, like the minerally, you know, from that rock and everything. It just, it's just an amazing blend. It really, really, really is. And what's nice is, you know, you want it to be artsy and stuff like that and, and very, you know, um, you know, crazy smelling, but you also want it to smell good because you're wearing it, you know, so you, you can have stuff, something that, you know, smells really, you know, it transitions nice and you can, you can wear it and all that, but you still want to smell good when you go out in public, you know, and this one really does. It, it has that nice fruitiness to it. Um, you get a little bit of the, you know, that, that smoky leather from the resins. Uh, like I said, there's a nice fig note in there, so it is fruity. So a woman can definitely pull this off as a man. It's a little bit more on the masculine side versus like hummingbird and, um, you know, his other more of the floral, you know, sense. Um, but this one, I think it's just a winner because it's so different too. You know, I've never smelled anything like it right off the bat. No pun intended. Um, but it's just an awesome opening. The middle's great. And then, you know, after the first hour, it really kind of settles down and it's really pleasant to wear. So I know my reviews are, are pretty crazy. They're kind of all over the place. And like this one, it's, it's, it's hard to, to really just say, Hey, it smells fresh and you know, great job and good. But this one really is cool. If you really take your time with a sample with it and just, you know, spray it on your hand and, or just, just wear it for the day, you just kind of get all these crazy smells. You know, you get some really good candy smells. You get the fruitiness. You get the banana in there. Um, it might even have like a, like a little bit of pulp in there. Like it's got like ripe bananas and ripe fruit, like kind of like not rotting fruit, but kind of in that realm. And then you also have like a, like an interlude, you know, coming together as one. You know, it's it's not as resinous as I would say interlude, but it's like a strong scent like that too. So I really think you guys would enjoy. Um, just the creativity of this one and, and really how it reacts, you know, to you, you know, on your skin and everything. So well done. Um, you know, it's a great house. I'm, I'm kind of getting into them now a little bit. As you can see, I got some samples here. I'm going to try and uh, figure those things out and, um, and try and get it. A uh, hummingbird I did spray on my hand. Excellent fragrance as well. It's a little lean into the floral feminine side, but also it's, it, it's a nice, easy one to wear, you know, in that, you know, in that realm. But Bat, what an awesome fragrance uh, so far, so good, and um, I just I think it's just a just a really well blended, um, awesome creative scent. It's really cool. So, but thank you guys so much again. I try and make these reviews kind of short. I know I probably stretched it out too long and kept repeating stuff and talking. So I still get really nervous in front of the camera. So I really I'm glad you guys are bearing with me and all that. And you know um, I don't edit. You know I, I kind of do this first first take and then it goes where it goes and you know if you guys like it great if not you know i'm sorry for that but i don't um you know cut everything and edit i'm just not that good at doing that kind of stuff so just kind of a first take and and here it is but uh longevity eight to plus out eight eight plus hours i'm getting on it um and then sometimes even after a few hours after that you still have hints of it and smell it so good projection i sprayed it on my hand and you know how it kind of leaves that little oil oil residue on there it's 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 very it's oily so what and that's going to be you know the um the longevity is going to be really good so it's a high concentration definitely at a perfume version of it you know it's not it's not going to disappear right away on your skin which is nice so it does have a really good quality to it as well uh also um versatility it's weird you know i wear crazy stuff to work and i don't really mind so um i could see night out though um you know definitely unisex you know, I can see a woman pulling off. I think it lean, leans a little bit towards the masculine side because of the, the soil, you know, the resins. And, you know, it's kind of a, you know, it's, it's just more on the leaning towards masculine. But a woman could definitely pull it off, you know. Um, a lot of the, the women that I've talked to, you know, Facebook, you know, Anita and a lot of those, those girls, you see them wearing Interlude Man. And they can pull stuff like that off and it, it just smells great. So this one's like another one like that where you can really, you know, you're going to be able to pull it off, you know, and, and um, for a woman to wear. So... But again, thank you so much, and uh, thanks for bearing with me, and hope you guys are all well. Thanks.